fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. A danger on the trail ahead. Hail, Silver. Hey! Snake Anson was all that his name implied. An evil, slinking, cunning creature who stopped at nothing to gain his desires. Orange flames lashed from the gun in the dry gulch. Snake glanced at the figure on the ground that he'd shot in the back and jerked the watch fob of the dead man's vest. Then... Get up there. Sometime later, Snake dismounted at a cabin just south of the Canadian border. He hurried through the door and... Snake, what's the rush? What's happened? Is that lone ranger critter after you? Uh, now by Thunder Flint, I'm after him. Look what he got. Let me see. A bullet. What about it? A silver bullet. Don't that mean anything to you? Can't say that it does. Nobody uses silver bullets in this territory. Except... Yeah. The Lone Ranger. Right. We're going to trump his ace with this silver bullet. I don't get it. I've been trying to figure some way to get the Lone Ranger. Now I've got it. Go on. If you've listened to the stories I've been told about him, you know fake folks think of him as a knight in shining armor. Riding a white horse. Yeah, maybe they're right, Flint. But the armor has a flaw in it. Flaw? Yeah, soft spot. And that's the kid. Dan? Sure. Maybe you don't show it much, but the Lone Ranger thinks a lot of Dan. What of it? If the kid was in danger, he'd ride to save him. You mean... Dan feels the same about the mass man. Where does a slug fit in? The kid doesn't know you. You was to show him this silver bullet and say the uh, Lone Ranger sent you. <laughs> I savvy. Good. Now, the next thing is to get a hold of Dan. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode across the snow outside of town. Though the mission which had brought them all the way from Texas to the snow-swept country just south of the Canadian border was concluded when an outlaw went to jail, they lingered because of Dan. Dan was a boy of 14, a lively, alert lad who had, since babyhood, been vitally interested in the stories his grandmother told him about the Lone Ranger. The boy's qualities had appealed strongly to the masked man, and there was something about him that stirred the imagination of Tonto. This boy named Dan had shown courage and resourcefulness. He had proved that his loyalty to the ideals of the Lone Ranger could not be shaken. But there was something more, something intangible that made the masked man and Tonto keenly interested in Dan. 
Suddenly, the thoughts of the Lone Ranger and his Indian friend were interrupted by the sight of an aged horse standing alone on the trail. The beast seemed to be nudging something on the ground. Can't tell from here, Tato. It looks as if someone is hurt. Ah, uh, maybe fall from horse. We'll find out. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Fellow on the ground. Hurt bad. Steady, big fella. Take a look, Tano. See if there's a chance. Uh, bullet in back. Look like we come too late. Oh, wait. No. No pulse. He's gone, Tano. Uh. Poor old fella. See if he's any one we... Uh, we know him. Old Mac. Uh. Reached the end of his trail at last. Uh, long time since we see old Mac. He may have been six months getting this far north. He... Tonto, look. Look at his watch fob. This bit of ribbon. Remember that? Uh, him take silver bullet you give him long time back. Tie to watch fob. Him say, always wear it. Yes, he said... And I can remember every word of it. I'll wear this silver bullet till my dying day. Remember that? Ah, uh, me remember. Watch hasn't been stolen. Uh, your money belt. He wasn't shot to be robbed. Why would someone kill an old man for the silver bullet? I wonder. Otto, we're going to find this murderer. Careful where you step, their footprints. Maybe we can find a clear one. Uh, he looked round. Maybe over this way. We'll see him caught, Mac, and punished. We'll see that your old horse gets green pastures. Little fella, that's about all we can do for you now. What have you found, Tonto? Oh, uh, here. Here, boot print. It plenty clear. Good. Fella, shoot from gulch. Leave mark a boot here where ground plenty soft. A patch on the boot. Ah. Uh. We'll know it if we see it again. Find some hemlock branches. We'll cover this to protect it. It might be handy as evidence. Dan had heard about the Lone Ranger from his grandmother. The thrills of her many stories told over a period of many years were exceeded only by the actual meeting of the masked man. Now more determined than ever to emulate the Lone Ranger, Dan was practicing to improve his speed at drawing a gun. <laughs> You got a mighty lot of practice ahead of you, Dan. If you hope to come up to the Lone Ranger. I guess so. I sure have a lot to learn, Graham. Oh, you're you're young, lad. You have a lifetime ahead of you. Do you think the Lone Ranger was as gun fast when he was fourteen? <laughs> I don't think so, laddie. Uh, wait. Huh? Looks like that man's coming here. You know him? Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, good. You, you looking for us, stranger? I reckon so. Looking for the Lone Ranger's friend. I guess you're the one. I'm his friend, all right. Mm. Young. What about the Lone Ranger? Where is he? Well, son, I hate to bring anyone bad news. Well, huh? Has something happened to him? Well, as to that, I can't say. I can't say for sure. Well, what about him? Uh, he sent me to you. That is, I guess he did. Your name's Dan? Yes. Oh, go on, go on, mister. He wanted me to fetch you. And to take you where he is. Well, why'd he send you? Oh, maybe because I happen to be handy. I, I didn't ask why he picked me. He did, that's all. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, he said you might suspect something funny. He, he said to hand this bullet to you to show him on the level. Bullet? Well, Graham, it's a silver bullet. I've got to go. Well, I don't know, Dan. Oh, but I've got to go, Graham. He wants me. To... I don't know what you could do that an older man couldn't do. Uh, probably safer. Well, maybe if you... the Lone Ranger feels he can trust me. Gee, I got to go right away. I'll be back as soon as I can. Well, be careful now, Dan. Don't run risks. The Lone Ranger wouldn't. Want I reckon you to... he wouldn't send for the boy if there was risk, man. Well, I'll get a horse and be right with you. Uh, you'll take care of the boy, won't you, Mister? Oh, sure. Don't you worry. He'll be taken care of. I wonder why the Lone Ranger would send for a boy at Dan's age. Get on there. An hour later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached Grandma's house after their ride from the trail where they had buried old Mac. Oh, Silver Boy, what's got anybody Oh, thank goodness you're safe and sound. Safe? 
What do you mean? Well, where's Dan? Didn't didn't he come with you? Well, no, I haven't seen him. Well, but he went to you with the man you sent for him. Well, I didn't send anyone. Uh, you didn't send a man with the silver bullet? No. Well, Dan Who went... Who got the silver bullet? He was a stranger. Oh, a mean-faced man. I didn't like his looks. Which way did they go? Well, Dan went to the shed for a horse. The man followed him. Then they rode off toward the north that way. Come on, Toto. Come on, Silver. The clue of the silver bullet sent the masked man and Tonto in fast pursuit of Dan and the man described by Grandma. In a few moments, the Lone Ranger reined up. Oh, Silver, hold oh, oh, The tracks of two horses met tracks of many. Tonto leaped to the ground and spent precious minutes studying the mass of indentations in the soft ground. Then, quite suddenly... Look here, Kimasabi. Steady, big fella. What did you find? Marked by boot with patch. Marked a fellow who killed old Mac. One of the gang. Tonto, that bullet was stolen as part of a big scheme. That's right. How many in this gang? Looked like 12, maybe 15. They headed from here directly toward the border. They can cross to Canada. The laws of the states can't touch them. Come on. Ahead of the Lone Ranger, Snake Anson led his gang across the border. Dan had long since found that resistance was hopeless and escape far out of the question. When he realized that the United States was back of him and that he was in the Northwest Territory, he wondered what scheme the outlaws had in mind. Rain up! Uh, you rats will get yours. This is the Maori's country. Get up when I look through these binoculars. See anything on the back trail, Snake? Yep, we're being followed. That's perfect. Just what I wanted. Lone Ranger? Same. I hope you found my boot marks. <coughs> now what? I'll take the kid with me on foot. This march, you. What if I won't? You'll be dragged. Uh, what'll we do, Snake? You and the rest ride on. I'm walking the kid up the trail in the face of that cliff there. When we get to the ledge where the old cave is, we'll come down on a rope. When I signal with a shot, you and the boys come back shooting. The Lone Ranger will be trapped on that ledge. Couldn't we lie in wait and ambush him easier? Not with that red skin. That critter would smell an ambush a mile away. Do it my way and we won't run no risks. All right, get down, you. All right. Sure you don't need me to help you, Snake? Do what I said. Go oh, on, Dan, start hiking up that trail ahead of me. All right, follow me, boys. Get up, get up, get up. The trail up the face of the cliff was sharp and difficult. Long before Dan reached the ledge, he was out of wind, but Snake in back of him was almost gasping for breath. Ultimately, the two reached the top. Uh, you do just what I tell you, or you'll get hot red. Well? Take this rope and throw it around that rock. So both ends of the rope fall to the plane below. And slide down the rope, I suppose. That's right. And I'll be right in back of you. Look here, Snake Hanson. I don't know why you want to kill a lone ranger. You needn't know nothing. Just keep your trap shut and do what I say. And maybe you'll come out of it alive. Uh, you know I won't. You got no intention to let me live to tell the Mounties about this. Get down that rope. Remember, I've got you covered. If I don't... Look, you young whippersnapper, you're going down, either by the rope or by a drop. And right now, too. All right. I'll take the rope. Hey, look out! Why, you clumsy, confounded fool. You knocked my binoculars over the edge. Too bad. Get down that rope before I lose my temper and throw you down. <laughs> Dan slid down the rope and picked up the binoculars. He stood looking at them with a sudden idea entering his mind. Then Snake came down the rope. Never mind those glasses. I'm done with them now. As soon as I haul this rope down. Yeah, stand still. I'm not moving. I've got you covered every second. And don't think I ain't ready to shoot if I have to. Uh, the same rope will do to tear you. I'll head for those big rocks. I'll tell you there, but the Lone Ranger won't see until I'm ready. And don't get any ideas of things, because you'll be gagged. You won't make a sound till my parts have put a dozen slugs in the Lone Ranger's head. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. 
Following the outlaw's trail across the border into Canada, the Lone Ranger and Tonto suddenly came upon the thing they were looking for. Marks in the ground made by a boot with a patch on the sole. Gang went on, Tonto. No Max murder, and someone else went up that trail. I dismount. Uh-huh. <coughs> we follow him. Leave horses here, huh? Yes. I can't be sure, but I think the killer has Dan with him. Ah, uh, prints look like Dan's. Some sort of a cave on the ledge ahead of us. Let um, me see it. Maybe that killer's in hiding there. Uh, we in Canada now? I think we are, Kimosabi. Dan will know for sure. Oh. Steady now. Keep back. Let me go ahead. No, me take lead. I get back. I'm going to have a look inside that cave. Wait, Kimosabi. You see something here. What is it, Kimosabi? Oh. Rope was passed around that rock. That's right. Recently, too. Uh, Doc. Down, um, that's it. Hug the ledge. Keep your head down. That shot came from below. Uh, and it aimed at us? Wait till I find out more about it. Keep out of range. Uh, you go in cave. Maybe take a look below. Keep your head down. There's someone over there. They've got the back trail watched. Uh, we try other direction. Maybe ledge go higher. Maybe trail above, safer. It's worth a try. I don't want to get too far from Scout and Silver. We have to cross the mountain. We... Maki Hula. What's that? Crook at all way watch. If we go ahead, fella watch trail. If we go back, fella watch trail. If we stick our heads up here, we're in range of others. Ah, this plenty slick trap. They simply wanted to kill us. They went to a lot of trouble. Plenty other fella try kill you. Them not go to plenty trouble. Them go to jail. Right here in front of the caves, the only place we're out of range. I wonder how many there are in that outfit. On me find track of 15 horse. Only two came up here. The others must have ridden on, then turned back. I'm going to throw some shots out there and take a quick look while my bullets keep their heads down. Uh-huh. Here, put my head on the end of that twig and hold it up to draw fire while I get into position. Uh-huh. Me fix it. <coughs> I had a chance to look around. Um, what you see? Otto, there's a big boulder about 50 yards from the base of this cliff. In plain view at one side of it, our young friend is sprawled on the ground, roped. Uh, you mean Dan? Yes. Why him there? He's in plain sight. The answer is obvious. They'll shoot him if we make too much trouble for them. Him gag? Yes. Hurt? I couldn't tell. He wasn't moving around. I'm sure there are at least two men behind that boulder. I could see their shadows sliding out from the side. Uh, how long we stay here like bear in trap? I don't know. I wish I did. What you do? Wait, Toto. Listen. You know you crossed the border into Canada. Sure, which means that the lawmen of the states can't trail us here. That's so. We had to leave a track the Lone Ranger could follow. But we didn't want no sheriff coming to bust up our little affair. There. It... He stuck his head up again. <laughs> you ain't the only one that's seen him. Did you hear the other boys fire? Yeah. Say, where's your binoculars? Yeah, they got busted. That fool kid knocked him off the ledge while we was up there. That's too bad. Yeah. Have to wait a long time to find another pair out here. Ain't many of them in this part of the country. That kid's mighty quiet. Ain't hurt, is he? No, he ain't hurt. Maybe one of the Lone Ranger's bullets hit him. The Lone Ranger don't shoot that careless. Yeah, maybe he thought he was one of us. Hey, what's going on there? The kid's all right, but take a look. He turned his back on us. Can he get out of them ropes? Not the way I tied him. Seems to be working on something. Hey, you! Kid, turn so we can see your hands. Did you hear what you was told? Turn around here. Hey, Budgeon. You should have tied his hands at the back. Don't tell me how to tie a man. Hands to the front, wrist together, and the same rope to the neck and ankles. He can't even straighten his legs. He's up to something, Snake. I hanker to know what. Keep a sharp watch on the ledge. I'm going to see what he's doing. If the Lone Ranger shows himself, shoot. Snake Anson made his way toward Dan. As he drew near, he saw a tiny wisp of smoke curling from in front of the boy. What are you doing? I'll show you. Dan leaped to his feet, free to the ropes. Try and stop him. I'll get you. As Snake brought up his gun to fire, a shot streaked from the ledge. Oh, my hand. He's firing at you. Gunfire broke from the men behind rocks. The Lone Ranger and Tonto shot to cover the escape of the boy. Dan raced madly toward the nearest horse, knowing that the lives of the masked man and Indian depended upon him. For his own life, he cared nothing. Bullets split the air around him, but the outlaws were shooting too fast for accuracy. Then... Get up there, boy. Get up. Hey, get away. Shoot him. Drop him. I'm trying to. Hey, you missed. That 
Lone Ranger got me. Shot the gun right out of my hand. Yeah, that doggone kid get away. Yeah, the masked man's out of sight again. Hang it all, when that kid made his break, shots flew from the ledge faster than I ever seen. I didn't dare stick my head out to fire back. Hey, that kid. Hang it all, I never thought of... How'd he get away? He had that bunch of binoculars with him. He had screwed one of the hooks of glass and used it as burning glass. Concentrated the sun till the rope was burned through. So that's what he was doing. Hey, you bring help. We gotta work fast. Mighty fast, Snake. Where'd he get that masked man? Hey, well. Now I'm done with waiting around. I'm gonna get him. Boys, all of you, listen to me. Can you hear me? There's a lot of brush around the bottom of that ledge. Make a run for it and start a fire going. We'll smoke him out. Cave, Tonto, or he wouldn't have started the fire. Uh -huh. The draft at the mouth of the cave, just like an oven door. The smoke will be sucked right around us. We won't be able to take it for long. And we not get shot at Crook over ledge. Them safe enough there. Fire's going good now. Oh, uh, yeah, plenty big. Feel heat way up here. Throw me the wet grass. Start the smoke going. Well, at least Dan got away. I'm glad of that. Ah, uh, maybe him tell Lawman, huh? I don't think that will help, Tonto. Lawman not help? Remember, we're in Canada. No sheriff will come across the border. Uh, that where gang plenty smart. Snake Anson is smart. Nearly as smart as Greg, who taught him crime. Smoke to start now. How long? I wonder. <coughs> Smoke bad. It's going to get worse. <coughs> Lots worse. Hold it on. Throw on some wet trash. Start another fire going alongside the first. Get two fires going. Get three, get a dozen. Make the smoke so thick I'll be cut with a knife. Snake, are you sure the smoke's going into the cave? Look for yourself, Flint. You see the way it's sucked right across the ledge and into the cave. Think them two can get fresh air at the back of the cave? Nah, I studied this place from all angles. I know the location. This will either strangle those two or bring them into the open where we can drill them. Maybe the kid will get help. We won't waste time. Or smoke, boys. Make it ten times that big. <laughs> Smoke became more dense with every passing moment. The Lone Ranger and Tonto felt tears streaming from their tortured eyes, and their tongues felt swollen and throats that were raw with the acrid fumes. Though they hugged the ground on the edge, gasping for air, they found no relief. Starting more fires. <coughs> Can't wait much longer. Uh, uh, let me see him. <coughs> when we go, Mosabi, we go together. Uh, we make run. Oh, wait. One minute more. Close your eyes. Oh, yeah. Try to keep the smoke out. <coughs> Clear as possible. Yeah. <coughs> oh, then shoot some more. Who yell? Oh, Tonto, I'm out here. Uh, Hear that? Boy, bring help. I'm going to look over the ledge. Now, wait. Gang may be ready. Shoot you. But they're not. Look, I'm standing up. They're paying no attention to us. Come on, down the trail. See over there. That's where the mountain is, back of that rock. Uh, let me see him. There's Snake Anson. He's had to come to this side. I'll give him something to think about. Uh, there are other fellow with him. Better lead near them. Mm, that's make him hot. He's between two fires now. Scout and Silver still wait. Get the saddle. We'll take Snake Anson. He's the leader. Get up. Be ready. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Oh, wait, you don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, I'll get him. Oh. Uh, let me shoot hands. Tell your men to surrender. But wait, let Hurry me. up or I'll drag you out of the saddle. I give up. Boys, boys, give up. There's a whole army after it. Well, a whole army. Uh, Ensign? One man. One money. A boy. Well, men aren't plentiful. Sergeant? I suppose this young friend of mine brought you. Yes, and he told me something about you. I'll not question the fact that you wear a mask. Dan, you saved our lives. Oh, I didn't do anything, except go for this friend of mine and a mounted police. You can't touch me. I didn't kill anyone this side of the border. You can't touch me for what I do in the States. You're going to the States. There's a murder trial waiting for you, Anson. And that patch on your shoe will hang you. You can't touch me. No, but in the States got nothing to see in Canada. Then, before I leave, thanks. We'll meet again. Well, sure, but you say you're leaving? Snake Anson is going to the other side of the border to pay for old Mac's murder. That's where you're wrong. I'm not crossing the border. 
I reckon this official in the red coat would want me for disturbing the peace or something. So I'll stand trial here. I've done nothing here they can hang me for. I'm not crossing the border. Hanson, this masked man isn't an official of the law. Why, if he wanted to drag you over the border... You'd have to stop him. I'm your prisoner. Mm, I might have to stop him if I could. But, of course, I have your friends to watch. And besides, uh, I'm studying that ledge. Curious how that cave happens to be there. Probably sometime in the past, a river come out of that. Made a waterfall. Hey, let me down! Let me down! I say stop! You can't do this! <laughs> the waterfall would have dropped right over the ledge. That must have been quite a sight. The Lone Ranger has found qualities in Dan that amaze him. His keen interest in the boy is pointed towards something, but what is it? Is it possible that Dan or his grandmother played a part in the mysterious and unrevealed past of the masked mystery writer? Be sure to tune in the next of this surprising sequence of Lone Ranger stories in the high border country. Who is Dan? <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>